All right, how do we deal with stress? This is part two of our stress management videos. Part one was conceptual. Hopefully you watched that. If you didn't, hit pause, go watch it because the information you got from that one is gonna help you apply what I'm gonna tell you now. And I'm gonna give you 10 things, top 10 things that you can do that are gonna improve your tolerance and ability to handle stress without stress knocking you down, making you sick, and getting in the way of pursuing your goals and dreams and aspirations. So the philosophy is you need to improve your ability to handle stress because sometimes we can't we do stress. Number one is you need to get some sunlight. You're like, what does sunlight have to do with it? I thought sunlight just makes you tan and gives you vitamin D. Well, exactly. Vitamin D is necessary for you to handle stress. Vitamin D is like a hormone in the body, actually. When you're stressed, cholesterol goes up in the body. Cholesterol has been linked to heart disease. Vitamin D is cholesterol converted to vitamin D. Try to get 15 to 20 minutes of sunlight. Every day, early morning sun rays are better for you. you. You know, if you're only in the sun for about 15 minutes, as long as you don't have any sensitivities to sun, probably don't need sunscreen. Beyond 15, 20 minutes, you probably need to use sunblock. Use organic sunblock. And the reason I say organic is because number two is you need to eliminate toxins. There are things that are toxic for us. Sometimes things we put on our skin can be toxic. They get absorbed in the skin and hurt our liver and weigh us down and reduce our energy and our strength. What you breathe in, what you ingest, all of those those things can be toxic so you have to remove toxins and if there's toxins in your body already you need to detoxify that so there's fasting techniques you can use uh, you should be under supervision of a nutritionist or a naturopathic physician if you're doing any kind of special detoxifying fasting reducing toxins is powerful feeding your body is number three feed your body with good nutrition obviously everybody knows I need to eat more vegetables I need to eat more fruits yes but make sure you're getting enough protein and good fats as well fish oil is huge vitamin D is huge test your vitamin D levels get a blood test find out what you may be deficient in go work with a nutritionist to feed those deficiencies in your body number four Four is exercise. Why should I exercise? I already have, I'm, I'm so busy. I've got all this work and actually my work is manual. I have to pick stuff up and you know, I get it. I'm a chiropractor. So I'm bent over patients all day, every day. And I'm moving patients around. I'm lifting things and I'm going from room to room, table to table, seeing patients and we're a high volume practice. So we see a lot of patients and I'm on my feet all day, every day. I wake up at five in the morning and I do my spinal exercises to mobilize things, stretch the muscles, make sure I'm ready for the day. Then I do my quiet time and then I go to the gym, I lift weights or it may be a cardio day and then I go to work. So you're like, if you're going to be active all day, why are you also working out? Well, I got to train. So it's like practicing for the game. So I need the muscles to be there. I need the energy to be there. I need cardiovascular health. Exercise gets you in shape to handle stress. So imagine if you got hit with a ton of stress and it was like nothing. Go on YouTube and search for the four minute workout. I think it was done by Dr. Zach Bush. Do the four minute workout a couple times a day, but you can't just do that. As that becomes easy for you, try more. You five minutes, 10 minutes, just constantly up your game. The plan is to increase the intensity. So if you started with a slow walk, now go to a fast walk, now do an incline walk. Now maybe go up to a little jog. Obviously consult a physician before you do all this stuff, so make sure you're healthy enough to exercise. Number five, you're gonna visualize. You have to visualize. You're gonna take mini breaks from your day and you visualize something. Now what do you visualize? Are you gonna visualize your worries? your fears, your anxieties, that's negative visualization. What does that do? That makes you feel terrible. You wanna feel good, right? So visualize petting your dog or cat doesn't matter. Visualize your vacation, your next great vacation. Visualize the next car you want to buy. Visualize hanging out with your sweetheart. Visualize that for 60 seconds. The body can't tell the difference between something that is actually experienced versus something that is visualized and imagined in vivid detail. That was number five. Number six, breathe. Breathing is powerful. Exhale is parasympathetic. What that means is exhale moves you out of fight or flight, out of anxiety, out of stress, into rest, relaxation, and repair. So what you're going to do is take Take 10 deep breaths. Breathe in for a count of five, exhale for a count of 10. Exhale should be twice as long as inhale. When you do that, your body shifts out of that stress mode and starts to repair, regenerate, and recover. So breathing is powerful. Number seven, sleep. Are you sleeping enough? Now, we're gonna do another video. Watch out for that. It's coming up. It's gonna be all about how to improve your sleep. Make sure you have a good schedule of sleep. Make sure you dim the lights before you go to sleep. Make sure you sleep in darkness and make sure you lower the temperature. Those are a few things. And don't drink so much coffee right before you go to bed. You know that's not good for you. Coffee's fine. Just don't drink it late at night. Number eight is social support. Who you hang around with? You need to be around people who want to do the same thing or you want to hang around people who have what you want and have been where you are today. That's what you need. You see someone who's the next level up. You look at him. You go, how do you do this, man? You, you're running like three businesses. You wrote two books. Take care of your family. You always 
have enough time for your kids, you go to your kids' games. How do you handle all that? Create a social support around you that you can look up to and learn from. Powerful, like-minded people want to do the same thing or headed in the same direction to enjoy life, be around them. Number nine is chiropractic care. Chiropractic removes interference from the nervous system so your nerves can process the stress better and respond correctly. Anytime there's pressure on a nerve or pressure on the spinal cord or on the brain stem, you just can't be right. Your brain can't receive information properly, it can't process properly, and it can't respond correctly. You will see so many times, you'll get a chiropractic adjustment, all of a sudden you can see more clearer. I'm not saying your vision improves, but you can see things better because all of a sudden, everything in your body becomes more efficient. Your body becomes more efficient, you can handle physical stress better, chemical stress better, and emotional stress better. Make sure you have a chiropractor that you visit on a regular basis. Do it today and don't ever stop. Regular chiropractic visits to make sure there's no interference making you sick through your nervous system. The last one I want to tell you, this is huge, this is music. Music can really fill you up with a lot of power. Haven't you ever listened to a song that pumped you up and you're ready to go? You're like, like psych up music, right? You listen to this one song, you're ready to go through the wall. You can beat anybody. You're ready to put on the pads and the helmet and go tackle somebody. Music can do that for you. Why aren't we listening to enough music? Music can heal you. Baroque classical music can lower your brain waves and make you more receptive to information. You can improve your memory. You can improve cognitive power. Um, uh, music is so good. It can heal your body. There's so many studies on this. Make sure you listen to music. Listen to music from the time in your life when you felt invincible. Athletes do this all the time so they can get in the zone. They'll listen to a song that pumps them up. Boxers, fighters, MMA fighters, UFC fighters, they play a song when they come out into the ring. Why? Because they get excited that music does things to you. Music can remind you of a time where you were happy and excited. Music can remind you of a time where you were invincible. You want to bring that energy to today. So use music to do that. Those are the top 10 things I recommend you do to help you manage stress better. I'm not telling you to reduce stress, even though sometimes that is a good idea but your focus should be, how do I get stronger so I can level up, so I can handle more? Be powerful, be strong, be courageous, go for your dreams, and handle the stress properly. Do these 10 things. Please also like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel, tell everybody about this information. I hope it's helpful. We're gonna bring you more information. Like I said, I'm gonna do another video real soon on how to improve sleep. We're gonna do another one on how to increase your energy levels. If you need more energy, you need to watch that video. I'm grateful that you watched, and I hope you'll tune in for the next one. Take care, God bless.